we're here in the Galapagos Islands assessing the health of marine iguanas. We're uh, capturing them, uh, taking blood samples, analyzing the blood chemistry, uh, and assessing their general condition. We're trying to get a representative um, set or population of these animals so we can measure a variety of uh, health assessment and uh, parameters. So these include the animal's weight, uh, certain standard measurements, its body temperature, its heart rate or pulse, its respiratory rate, whether it has any lesions such as scars, injuries, if it has parasites that we can see, um, and then we also remove a blood sample and we analyze that both in the field with some equipment that is very portable and um, very helpful and then also we bring samples back to the lab here at the GSC where we can analyze the blood for a variety of clinical indicators or clinical parameters. Looking at blood films and doing differential white blood cell counts enables us uh, to establish what are the reference uh, values for um, different types of blood cells and then detect if an iguana is for example diseased or has an type, uh, some kind of infection and at the same time we can look at blood parasites. Dehydrated and it packs up up. Looks like 34.2. We've been working on the project for about two years now and we've been able during that time to obtain the first set of values on the biochemistry of blood in both sea turtles and iguanas. So we, we know now for the first time uh, what is normal for uh, these animals in the Galapagos.